Hey everyone, welcome back to JB Outdoors. Today I'm just giving you guys an update. I'm gonna open up some packages that I've got in the mail. Um, I've recently uh, started to make just a tiny bit of money on YouTube. So I figured I'd reinvest that into the channel and use some some of that money just for uh, you know tools and things that I will use to make videos. So um, before we get started, I do want to say thank you everyone. Uh, I just got back from a two week trip, uh, about a 10 day trip uh, to Colorado and Utah and Missouri. So I'm uh, just getting kind of back to the swing of things. I went right back to work the next day once I got back after two days of driving. And then uh, every day after work so far, I've been trying to get cleaned up and put some stuff away. So I figured I'd give you guys an update and show you a little bit of things that are going on in the background before those videos start to make it out. Um, I'm now admittedly about four or five videos behind. I have footage uh, uploaded to my computer and ready to start editing. So um, there will be very soon some videos coming out um, as soon as we get around to that. But my wife and I work hard. Um, at our normal job and then come home and usually try to do this in the background as more of a kind of a pet project, something that we've tried in the background. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd give you guys an update, kind of show you what I got going on here in the garage. It's about 100 degrees out and super humid here in southwest Michigan, so um, not super beautiful out, but I do have two uh, window shaker AC units in here just to try to kill some of the heat. So sorry if you hear any of that, but I'm trying my best to keep this mic on, but enough talking. I'll show you some cool dirt bike stuff. So I, I took my 2017 DRZ 400 out to uh, Colorado. Got a new, got new stickers. I always like to put stickers on. Um, that was something that my friend Doug did with the bike before this, and uh, I wanted to keep that going for him, um, as it's a neat little project. So we went down Cinnamon Pass in Colorado, Silverton. So there's a video of all those really neat passes there. Um, also went to Crested Butte, Colorado. The bike did really well, but I did blow a fork seal on this side. Um, you can see there's oil running all the way down my brake caliper mount. And uh, found that the bike is really beginning to use a decent amount of oil. And I, I knew that when I bought the bike that it was uh, prone to it because it does have like 20, 22 or 23,000 miles on it now for a DRZ. It's a fair amount, but um, I take that as a, a an opportunity to upgrade. So maybe a 440 kit this summer or this winter. So we'll see. Um, really depends. Tires are shot. Sprockets are done. Um, rear brake pads are gone. I haven't even looked at the fronts yet, but it definitely needs some maintenance. But I absolutely love that part of it, and that's that's why there's uh, bikes in the garage. But uh, I took the bag set off. Tusk uh, ex excursion uh, rackless setup. I got all my nice gear in this tote that I'll have to go through and wash, and then uh, you know anything else that may be sitting around. So um, I've already laid out all my gear. This is all the gear that I took with me. Really glad that I chose the sleeping bag. If you guys saw any of the videos before, I tested out the uh, sleeping quilt and. I found that I was almost cold in the sleeping bag, so uh, really glad that I took the sleeping bag, uh, even though it's a little bit bigger to pack. So I really hope you guys like this kind of thing. Um, I, uh, I'll do my best to show you this kind of stuff as, as hopes that you're truly interested to see me use this stuff in the field or, or here on the channel. I had to grab a pair of scissors because my um, I have a problem not carrying a knife anymore. I really miss that. So I truly don't know what these are. Um, I ordered some bike parts and then I also ordered some other stuff for the channel. And the bike parts are going to help me get back to 100% on the DRZ. Um, this is actually some parts from my wife's RC car that I broke. So. I totally forgot I ordered these. This was like so long ago that I um, totally forgot. So she'll be happy about that. She bought an RC car used and I totally... Uh, oh, cool stickers! So I totally um, 
drove it the first time and I broke it. So naturally, that's my luck. Uh, so that's enough of that. Anyway, to the cool stuff. The stuff that I bought for the channel. My wife and I don't have kids. <clears throat> Both focus a lot on our careers. So we find ourselves buying silly stuff that we may have bought when we were kids. Um, now that we're adults. So it's fun sometimes. So I was really excited for this. Um, an old coworker of mine shared this with me because he knows that I'm really into this stuff, but uh, he's very big into O-Knife, which is an Olight brand. Uh, and I've been really wanting a fixed blade for a long time. So he shared it to me that uh, Blade HQ and O-Knife Olight sales had some sales going on the other day and I took advantage of them. So the sale was this and the other item that I got here. Uh, but like I said, I haven't carried a knife in a very long time and I miss it. And especially when I'm out camping, uh, I recently tried to carry, uh, it was a really cheap, like uh, super cheap fixed blade. And I figured, you know, I'm gonna reinvest some money that I got from my YouTube channel and then show you guys the, uh, the stuff that I got to try out. So this is the Onai Fixed Blade Fortitude 2. It's a uh, weighs 180 grams or 6.3 ounces. It comes with a nice leather sheath, which is what I wanted. I told him I didn't want the Kydex stuff. I really am a fan of wood grain and uh, and wood or uh, the leather sheath here. So. All this packing crap will get out of the way. But yeah, it's a very, very nice knife. It looks like it's about a uh, five inch blade, maybe. I'm sure this says somewhere on here. Oh, look, it came with a little coin. I think O-Knife does this kind of stuff. It comes with these special coins, um, which is like a collector's thing. And if you're seeing this and you know this, you can leave a comment down below maybe yell at me for opening it. I don't know if I'm supposed to open it or not. I want to show you guys. This is O-Knife Fortitude 2 fixed blade. You know, just, I don't know. I'm sure it's a collector thing. Pretty cool. But yeah, very nice knife. I've been watching my friend Bushcrafty Stee. Bushcrafty, Bushcraft with Stee Outdoors. Um, and really been liking his knife reviews so I've been kind of jealous I've been wanting a nice nice fixed blade knife and I think this is gonna be the ticket for me so with that uh, the fortitude 2 came as a bundle and this is the, the other one that I'm pretty excited about um, as many of you know I like everything outdoors and everything outdoors can even turn into um, hatchet throwing. So, with this being said, this is a multifunctional hatchet from O Knife. Like I said, this was a bundle deal. And I paid $143 US for the knife and this hatchet. And I was really excited for this because I can use this for a little bit of everything, whether I'm moto camping or camping out of the back of my truck. It's got a pry bar on the end of it. Nice sturdy handle. Uh, like a hammer on the end of the hatchet. And a very nice, this is a Kydex uh, sheath. So super excited about it. Sorry, give me a moment. It's real time stuff here, real high quality. High quality footage here. Very, very nice, extremely sharp edge they put on that from factory. So super excited to uh, use this in my, in my channel. So 
Definitely not something I needed. I have plenty of hatchets, but I'm always looking for something new for the channel. Um, and if you have any ideas or stuff that you want to see me use on the channel, whether it's a, a cot, a sleeping bag, a hammock, you know, something to use while camping, leave a comment down below. Last but not least, guys, a condor. This is a Condor Bush Lore Mini. The Mini Bush Lore. So this is a like three inch fixed blade. Very nice walnut handle. And a very nice sharp edge that it comes with. And a nice leather sheath. So I'm uh I'm excited about this one. My nephew actually has this and recommended it, so I figured I'd give it a try. This one was about, um, I think, kind of, kind of expensive for as small as it is too. But it was about fifty-seven dollars U.S. So um, I don't know what that equates to if you're watching from a different country, but I'm sure Google can help you calculate that. But um, super excited for this little guy as I have a couple different options now from the Fortitude 2 and the O-Knife. Um, this is a bit larger of a fixed blade. So I've got a couple different options depending on what I plan to do, whether it's, you know, any, anything with a nice, that needs a nice strong backbone or just something that needs, just need to have for a maybe everyday carry. So, yeah. Excited about knives and stuff. Well, guys, that's it from me. Uh, this week, I'll plan on making at least get back into the editing game. Um, I do work all week, and then we're coming into the the holiday weekend here. So, um, yeah, hopefully, I'm, it's not me boasting that I got some new stuff, but I am super excited to. Uh, open stuff with my viewers because if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't have this kind of stuff so appreciate each and every one of you um, again my name is Justin with JB Outdoors make sure to spend more time outdoors I'll see you all in the next video